Hello and welcome to the Driven Female Entrepreneur Podcast. I'm your host, Melita Campbell, award-winning business coach and value whisperer. On this show each week, I've been bringing you practical advice and tried and tested techniques through my own experiences and those of other successful women in business. Our goal has been to help you dream bigger and confidently achieve more in your business and life. And I say has been because from the 1st of February, this podcast is changing. It will no longer be the Driven Female Entrepreneur podcast, but instead it will be the Art of Value Whispering podcast. I will explain more about what that change is all about. In that episode, I'll introduce you to Value Whispering and where we're gonna go with the podcast and not just the podcast, but the community as well. There's gonna be a lot more live events for you over in the school community. You can find it by going to melitacampbell.com slash club. But before we kick off on episode 190 with the Art of Value Whispering podcast, I wanted to squeeze in one more episode for you to tell you all about the Magnetic Messages Challenge, which starts before the launch of the new podcast, hence this little mini-sode in between. So last year, I put a poll out on LinkedIn to ask people if I were to do a four-day challenge in January next year to help you kick start the year, overcome a big problem, and move forward and start attracting more clients what would that challenge do for you? And it was overwhelming the number of people who said, I want to create messages for social media that attract my dream clients and sell my services. Now with three decades of marketing and communications experience behind me, this is a challenge that really sits high up there in my happy place. So I was delighted with the outcome and I am delighted that on the 29th of January, we will be starting the magnetic message challenge. Now, I didn't call it the messages that sell challenge for one very good reason. I don't believe that messages can sell. I think messages can help you set up the sale, can help make the sales conversations you have afterwards easier 100%. But it's highly unlikely that you can create one little message and post it on social media and you will start getting people booking your services directly from that message. There are usually a few steps in between and understanding this can change the way that you set up your messages. First, we need to make sure that our messages are attracting the right people, showcasing our true value so that those right people think, ah, finally, I've found the right person for me. They can start to understand a bit more about you. You can build that relationship. And then when you get that chance to have a sales conversation, when the time is right for them, then that conversation is much more enjoyable because they come to that call already believing that you offer them extraordinary value, that you are well-placed to serve their problem. It's just a nice conversation to see, are you a good fit? Is this the right time? Is it the right investment for them? Do you both feel like this is a relationship you want to go forward with and so on? So the goal of the messages isn't to sell directly, but to attract those right people in to start being their champion, to really position ourselves as their obvious choice of service provider. And that's what we're going to tackle in the Magnetic Message Challenge. So I am really excited for this challenge. On the first day, I'm going to share with you the golden rules of impactful messages. So about a decade ago, I was asked to start training communication professionals in how to be more effective, how to be more impactful in their messages. And I developed this simple four golden rules that would guide them in every message they did. So it was a real shortcut to creating messages that would really speak to their ideal clients and achieve the objectives that they had for that message. So we'll look at what those rules are and the days do follow those rules as well. So the rules are understanding your purpose, knowing why you are creating your message really knowing your ideal client so that you can create a message that already starts to solve their problems, that speaks to their thoughts, that already attracts that right person and is compelling for them. Then the third of the golden rules is how to keep things simple. But that is almost an outcome of knowing your audience and having a clear purpose. So instead of going into that on day three, I'm going to show you how you can start to use storytelling to connect with your ideal clients. And once you know how to use stories well, it's much easier to create 
content that is enjoyable for you to put together that builds a relationship with other people and starts to attract the right clients in because the right clients aren't just people that fit into a demographic or have the ability to pay you. Those right people are going to be those who believe that you have the right methodology for them. They align with your values. They have some kind of deeper connection. And that's what stories can do. So we'll start to look at storytelling. And then day four is the vast of the golden rules, which is plan. So the key to consistency is having a plan, making that plan simple for you to implement. So we're going to start creating your content plan on day four. So you will have everything in four short days that you need to start creating really compelling messages that attract those ideal clients that you have, that you can enjoy putting together. You know how to build that rhythm and that consistency so that you don't burn out, but you do have that consistent presence online and start building the right relationships and know where that message is going to take them next. That's also part of the plan because it's we're not just messaging for messaging sake. We have a bigger plan. If we put out a message that resonates with someone, then we want to be able to take them to that next step to get more help to solve that problem or explore that idea. And each of those steps is going to be a nice, smooth, logical path towards our business for the right person. So I am really excited to dive into this challenge and it's completely free for you to join us. You just need to register so that I can send you all of the details every day that you need to complete the challenges and you need to join the Dream Clients Club because that's going to be the hub for the community throughout the challenge where you'll get further support. You can share your homework, get feedback, all that lovely stuff. So all you need to do right now is go to melitacampbell.com slash challenge and there you'll find the registration page. So you can sign up there and then you'll get the thank you page, the welcome email and all the details that you need to join the Dream Clients Club and start getting ready for that challenge. So I am really excited to see you there. Of course, if you have friends, business besties, anyone in your network, you think that they would value this challenge as well, bring them along. Life's always much more fun when we have these experiences with our friends. And then you can be accountability buddies. You can support each other as you go beyond the four days and start to implement this on a more consistent basis as well. So if you bring your friends to that challenge, it can really support you all in having an amazing 2024. So that's melitacampbell.com slash challenge to join us. And I look forward to seeing you We kick off on the 29th of January and I'll be back here on the podcast with the new branding of the Art of Value Whispering on the 1st of February. If you want a sneak preview of what Value Whispering is all about, hop over to my YouTube channel, Melita Campbell, and you will there find a little training that introduces you to the concept of Value Whispering and how that can help you grow your business, attract more clients, be more profitable, have a bigger impact and doing all of that with ease and authenticity as well. So if you want a little sneak preview, you'll find that on the YouTube channel. Otherwise, I will see you in the challenge very soon. Bye for now.